Unified English Worship Service. Today we have a very special event. Uh, we have a picnic coming soon, uh, right after the service. Uh, we plan to go outside, but because of the rain, uh, we decided to do it inside here. So uh, we, we will have a very short worship service, okay? Um, today, okay, I'll show you a very interesting picture. Now, you see the picture on your left, is it? Your left will be what adults see, okay? So, a couple kissing each other. And on the right side will, will be the photo of how the children view that, how the, how the children view. So, for a child, for a child, kissing a, a, a woman or a man will be like kissing a pig. For a child. Okay, the next one. Alright, see a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Kids love them. We we adults will see it as peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But for a child's view, they will see it as a one-star Michelin, a fine dining meal. For them, peanut butter and jelly, their favorite food, will be like a very expensive meal. And then the last one. Dad. Okay? It's a very ordinary daddy. Okay, we it's uh, we see father, but as a, in child's view, they will see uh, their their father as a superman, a superhero. Okay, uh, as in this um, photo, we could see how different adults and children are. Okay. Uh, according, based on the photo, I want to um, share about some of the characteristics of a child. Okay, a short one. Number one, characteristic of a child. Number one, child knows how to be grateful. Like, the, remember the second second photo, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Even the smallest thing for a child, they know how to be grateful. Peanut butter and Jelly sandwich could really satisfy satisfy them, and they they are very happy. It makes them very very happy, and they know how to express that. They have a they or they know how to be grateful for that. And number two, oh sorry, number two, a child depends fully on their parents. Can you imagine a little child, for example, age two? To six-year-olds, we call them little children. For them, it's impossible for them to separate themselves with their parents. Without them, they cannot survive. They, without them, they cannot live on with their lives. And they know that by instinct. And because of that, they need their parents. They, they rely 100% to their parents, their love and their, and their care. Okay, based on these two characteristics, okay, Today, um, the sermon title on the bulletin is Received as a Little Child. And the passage is from Mark chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. Okay? Let's read it all together. Okay, one, two, three. Then they brought little children to him that he might touch them. Sorry. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, Let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever doesn't receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. According to the passage, Jesus warns the disciples because when, when Jesus saw children coming towards him, the disciples kind of hindered them. Oh, stop! And, and the disciples actually rebuked the parents who brought their children to Jesus to bless them. By seeing this, Jesus tell, told them, don't do that because I love them. And I'm happy that they come to me. And another thing that he said was, the kingdom of God is for those 
who receive it as a child. Now then, let's think of it. What is? How do we receive God's kingdom as a little child? Based on the two characteristics. Uh, number one, we receive the kingdom of God by being grateful. Children, they're grateful for small things. We should to become like a child and receive the kingdom of God with grateful heart because we didn't earn it. It was given free from God. So we have to receive it with a grateful heart. Number two, we have to fully depend on Jesus. It is Jesus' righteousness that we enter the kingdom of God. And it is to remind ourselves once again that we too, in order to enter the kingdom of God, we have to fully rely on and have faith in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen? Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again.